हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू क्रिएटिव मेडिसिन इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अबाउट ना अकलेशिया कार्डिया इफ यू सी द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अकलेशिया कार्डिया सो इन द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ अकलेशिया कार्डिया एक्चुअली इफ द डिजीज इज इन द अर्ली स्टेज like the treatment depends upon the stage of the disease for example oh sorry right if the disease is in the early stage we can give um sublingual nitroglycerin and calcium channel blockers are given mainly if the disease is in the early stage because nitroglycerin will cause dilatation because actually nitroglycerin and nitrates will release the nitric oxide which causes dilatation of the sphincter and thus causing relaxation of the sphincter thus the dilate the tonic contractive state will be relieved similarly calcium channel blockers will also cause relaxation of the sphincters then then we can also do a bogie dilatation uh, up to 54 french can also be done but this requires repeated dilatation is required for sustained effect bogie dilatation up to 54 french should also be done this requires actually repeated dilatation then along with that the next is we can also use one more therapy which is botulinum therapy can also be used actually this botulinum therapy will block the acetylcholine release botulinum therapy will block the acetylcholine release and thus it prevents smooth muscle contraction obviously whenever it blocks acetylcholine release there is no acetylcholine thus there is no smooth muscle contraction thus obviously there is relaxation of the lower esophageal sphincter is seen in botulinum toxin this botulinum toxin will provide symptomatic relief for the patients for almost years symptoms recur in 50% of the patients within 6 months after botulinum therapy within 6 months after botulinum therapy symptoms recur in more than 50% of cases within 6 months after therapy uh, symptoms have recurred so this is botulinum toxin then but the best therapy is by laparotomy laparotomy by sorry laparoscopic herlers myotomy is the treatment of choice now now the operation of choice is laparoscopic herlers myotomy is the operation of choice for achalasia cardia now herlers myotomy is actually done 2 cm above the gastroesophageal junction and 2 cm below the gastroesophageal sphincter junction so that means if if this is the achalasia cardia with the gastroesophageal junction now you should do a gas uh, a myotomy should be done this is the gastroesophageal junction it should be done 2 cm above and 1 cm below the gastroesophageal junction you should do the myotomy should be done now partial anti reflex procedure like taupets procedure or uh, dors fundoplication can also be done okay partial anti reflex procedures like taupets or dors fundoplication are mainly done uh, to restore the barrier to prevent the reflex okay to prevent this reflex we can also do this uh, and partial anti reflex procedures then esophagotomy can also be done if there is complications esophagectomy like for example uh, if there is either mega esophagus or if there is sigmoid esophagus which is almost similar to mega esophagus if there is failure of more than one myotomy or if there is uh, undilated reflex stricture in all these cases we prefer removing the that part of esophagus like if this is the mega esophagus part then we can do an esophagectomy and remove it similarly if there is a stricture in the middle so it is better to remove it okay so that is esophagectomy is also done in these cases thank you and thank you for watching